This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Margo Hallam with me. You are the CEO of the Perth and Smith Falls District Hospital Foundation. Welcome back. Always lots going on at our hospital. We've got lots to talk about, beginning with Smile Cookies. Smile Cookie. Week from this week, first week of May, the three locations at the Tim Hortons here in Smith Falls are dedicating their campaign to the Hospital Foundation. So we have board members every morning and staff people every morning going over to decorate. We can't deviate from the smile, but um, last year the Smile Cookie campaign brought the foundation just over $27,000. Wow. So we are really ho hoping that we, you know, at least make that and if not more. So we are very appreciative of Tanya and Russ for thinking of us. And you and the board are actually going in we and decorating are. them. Yes. And we can't deviate from the smile face. We have to keep it the same. So yeah, we are every morning. So we're in there and it's great. They've been super. So go to, get out and get your smile cookie. Go get your smile cookie. They're $1.50 each or a dozen. If you buy a dozen of the smile cookies, you don't pay tax. Excellent. You know, just What a, a deal savings. and you're supporting the hospital. And you're supporting the hospital. I love the next uh, event we've got going on. It's across the street from our studio here mm -hmm. at uh, Settlers Ridge Center. It's a family fun day. Let's talk about that. Saturday, May 27th, starting at 11 o'clock, we're putting on a free family fun day uh, for the communities. And we've partnered with Boston Pizza, Healy Glass, Samir Group of Companies. And uh, all the donations that will be received on site that day are going towards our MRI project. So it's a twofold for us. It's a great way to meet the families in the community and have some really great times with what, what we've got offered. And um, it's, a, it's a really the public launch, I guess, of our MRI to, you know, share some more awareness of what's happening and, and have some fun while we're doing that. So the lineup is great that weekend. Um, for the Saturday, we've got face painting, bouncy castles, obstacle courses. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we've we got a petting slide. farm there. Yes. Uh, petting yeah. farm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, performance by Monkey Rock Monkey Music. Monkey Rock. Yeah. They're, and I, and I apologize, I don't, um, they're, they've got the younger crowd, they're more of a, a children's uh, group that come out and uh, perform and great referrals from other folks that have seen them. So we're really thrilled that they're going to be on site. I think they've got two performances, one at 11 and one at 2. Excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, the weather, crush your fingers, we'll get the rain out of our way now and we'll have great weather that day and um, it's going to be fun. And what a great connection with the Samir family group, oh my goodness too, because they are going to match $10,000. Yep, for that day, any donations received on site that day, they will match up to $10,000. So we are thrilled. Um, it's a wonderful partnership. They've given back so much um, to the community and it's just a really good fit for us. There will be some things going on inside the mall as well. So we encourage people to, you know, maybe stop and have lunch if they want to have lunch or go wander through the mall and come back out and let your kids have a great time. That's right. Now that's Saturday, May 27th from 11 till 4. That's correct. And it's going to be outside and some of it's going to be inside. Yep. So it's going to all be a great the, day. Of, yeah, all of the big bouncy castles and stuff are all outside. Right. Oh, all, all inside. Those are inside. No, those are all outside. They're outside. <coughs> okay. All the bouncy castles and slides are all outside. All right. Now, you just touched on the MRI campaign. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. Absolutely. So, over the next three years, our campaign is to raise $6.1 million. We've been granted, and it's uh, right now the uh, MRI construction is happening. I think if you go along or outside of the hospital, you'll see the cranes and they're digging and everything else. So, um, the groundbreaking for that will be June 23rd. And uh, we're working hard in raising funds to meet our goal, for sure. Okay, now you're saying a ground digging. What, what, what's involved in this? Like They're, they have to dig out the front of the hospital in order to get the magnet into the building. Wow. So it's right along Elmsley Street. So it's that circle drive that you come in to drop off patients. Right. That's closed this week, I think. Mm -hmm. And that, that will be it. There hasn't been a whole lot of disruption for the... Um, community with that so they've got to kind of dig it out so the magnet can be slid in because it goes in downstairs okay now i did hear that the, that entrance is closed off we have to use the emergency yes to get into the hospital yes. so wow i know it's really exciting yeah like you know it's going to be great to have care close to home you know we we're going to have this in our community we're not going to have to drive distances we're not going to have to take days off work um, we're really excited about it and um, the, the momentum is just going to grow.
And that's what our Perth and Smith Falls Hospital is so much about now too, is we have so many uh, of these types of things available yeah. to us. Absolutely. At our hospitals, we don't have to go in the city. No, okay. and I mean, it's great for, um, you know, people moving into town. We've got, obviously our cottagers are back. Um, so, you know what, it is just a very um, smart, in my opinion, community input to have this close to home. And we're very fortunate we have it. Yep, we are. We are. Yep. We are. Now, I, I love the fact that we just talked about Family Fun Day. It's an outdoor event, another yep. outdoor event. We've got a golf tournament we coming up. We have a golf <laughs> tournament. We're back to back this spring. We've got a golf tournament. Um, our classic golf tournament will be on Friday, June the 16th at the Smith Falls Golf and Country Club. <clears throat> Same format. Uh, we have some availability for sponsors. If anybody's interested in um, contacting us, they can give us a call at the office. And registration details are gonna be out probably within the next week or so. Now you've been doing this for years. Well, we haven't, yes, there has been a golf tournament before, mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. That was before my time in Smith Oh, Falls. okay. So I know they had a very successful golf tournament for many, many years. So that legacy is here and this community really loves the golf tournament. So we're happy to bring that back. And we started off with the new Amalgamated Foundation last year being able to be matched with Canadian Pacific, right. which is why we brought the golf tournament back was one of the ways that we could do it. So this year we're going to continue because the feedback has been great and, the, and people are asking for it. So we're happy to do it. We're happy to get out there and tell you what we're doing at the office and what's happening with our campaigns and events. So it will be a great day. And another popular event at the hospital too is this 50-50. Oh my goodness, yes. So we are, this month, our 50-50 is being, uh, we have an early bird sponsor, which is the Plaid Cow, and Amy is out of the Perth area, so um, she's got a great business up in, in Perth, and it's going very, very well. Like, I mean, we had, let me just flip for a moment so I get my facts right here. So our April winner took home, the prize was 12940 Wow. Right? So, you know, up to date, we've, we've given back to the hospital $150,000 just on this 50-50 on your $20 ticket sales, you know. So, I mean, if you want to be an early bird sponsor, we're looking for that. You just contact our office, which would be great. And it just keeps continuing and growing. Did you think it was going to be this popular? I was hoping it was going to be yes. this popular. Yes, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it, it's, um, it really helped us during um, that slump we had with COVID yes. and not being able to get out into the community. So it really was a great um, lifesaver per se of just kind of getting people aware of what the hospital foundation does and how we're working in the community. So it has been, a, it's been great. Yeah, and tickets online. Tickets online, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's psfdhfoundation5050.ca or if they have any trouble, they can call the office and we can walk them through them. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All yeah. right. So we've got a family, community family fun day going on, and we've got a golf tournament. We've got 50-50, uh, uh, and we've got smile cookies that just and going on this cookies. week, too. So lots yeah. going on. We are. We're busy. And I, I think the main thing, too, Kathy, is we've got to remember that um, our government doesn't fund capital equipment needs. So any like our MRI, like, like a thermometer or a cast cutter that you get in the um, ER. So what we basically do is we need the support of our community to raise these funds to keep care close to home. And we've got to get that word out there yeah. because I think people are surprised a lot of the times when they find that out. Yeah, it's and it's, it, it is. It's been, you know, it is, it is a surprise. We get, we get awarded these great things like the MRI, but we still have to fund the month. Like we still have to fund it. So, I mean, those are important pieces and, um, our community will be owning this MRI coming up. So I think that's great pride. Yeah, absolutely. And once again, you're not going into Kingston. You're not going into Ottawa for these tests. Yeah. They're available right here. Yeah. Yeah. Close to home. Close to home. Close Care to home. Close to home. That's right. Care close to home. That's what it's all about. How do people get a hold of you, Margo, if they need to? So they can call our office, mm -hmm. which is 343-881-4483. Or they can hit us on info at PSFDH foundation.com and I, our 5050 I gave it to you too which is psfdh5050.ca and we have a specific MRI website that we will be posting any videos or anything that we're doing that any updated news that will be going on that and that is careclosetohome.ca.
All right. Now, have you got anything else on your, your Do list I have anything there? on my yeah, list? Yes. No, you're, we so, wrap up? you're so good. You've got everything that, you Well, know, you helped me get organized. It's you like me your list, too. So. Nope. We're getting very efficient, Kathy. Yes, We're we are. This efficient. is We got our groove on here, we Margo. Do. We do. <laughs> we do. Well, I always enjoy our time together, so thank you for joining us today. Margo Hallam, the CEO of the Perth and Smith Falls District Hospital Foundation. Kathy, thank you very much. Thank you.